Hey guys, hope you're having a beautiful, beautiful day today. Uh, so, I wanted to talk about an interesting topic about when the Red Bull versus SEC lawsuit is going to end. Um, it's only speculation, I have no idea, I don't have any hidden uh, source or anybody in the background that could tell me any information. I'm just trying to. You know, have an idea of when I think it might end based on some information I found on the internet. So, before I begin, guys, please hit that like and subscribe button. It's gonna really, really help grow my channel. And I hope you guys were able to see the the blood moon that happened yesterday. Um, apparently, this particular one happens almost once every 600 years. So, I was able to see. It. I took some pictures. It was beautiful. It was the first blood moon I've ever seen um, because for some reason I always miss it. I don't know why. Either it's too cloudy outside and I can't see it or I don't wake up. But this time I was able to see it. It was beautiful. I loved it. But all right. So when do I think the XRP lawsuit, uh, sorry, not the XRP, the SCC versus Ripple lawsuit is going to end? Well, I guess we should go back to the beginning. When did it start? As you, as you can see here, Forbes, Forbes took out this article in December 23rd, 2020, right? Almost a year ago. Right now we're in November 19th. So uh, this was almost a year ago. And I think the title of the article itself is very interesting. It, the title is, as you can see here, The Beginning of the End for Ripple and XRP. And I think that title itself is interesting because you have some Riddlers out there who will say, hey, you know what? It ends where it where it began. It ends where it began. That's the the riddle that they say. And you're like, okay, it ends where it began, and then you have this title, beginning of the end. So if you read it kind of if you read it backwards, think about it. Ends where it began. It will become the same thing. Right? So that's my, my first clue that the Ripple vs. SEC case might end on December 23rd. Maybe there's a settlement of sorts. Um, if we look at when the lawsuit was actually placed, as you can see here from the SEC website, it was on December the 22nd. So, you know, within those two days, the 22nd, 23rd, maybe we'll see some type of settlement between, between the two and some type of clarity for XRP. So that's my first uh, guess right there. My, now the only re the second reason I think it might be December the 23rd is because of this. Now this is a post posted by Mr. Poole, which if you're in the XRP space, maybe you've heard of him before. And as you can see here, he posted this little container with an open lid. And it says 6M. And if you see down here, when he posted this was June the 23rd, 2021. Six, 6M, you know, it could also mean six month. So if you take June the 23rd and you add six month on top of that, it'll, it'll take you to December the 23rd, right? 2021. So it's possible. And I mentioned this here on my Twitter. I said... Can this Mr. Pool post mean Ripple also will end in the next six months, meaning December 23rd, 2021? Um, it's possible. I don't know. I'm just speculating. But I think it's very interesting. And like I said before, you have that riddle where it says it ends where it begins. And then you have this article that came out December 23rd with the title, The Beginning of the End. So uh, that's also... Uh, two things, I think they go hand in hand. This, the sixth month, you add it to this date, you get December the 23rd. You have this article with this title, that also is December the 23rd. I think that's very interesting. And then the last thing is uh, the post from uh, so you, uh, Twitter account called Baba, Baba Cooks. And he mentions, he has this timeline. It's also, I mean, he has some inf inside information, definitely. 
but he cannot just give it out right. He, he also puts it into riddles. I would guess a little simpler riddles. And he has this little timeline here. And you can see December 22 right up here. Right? And over here you got the scales. Like scales of a, a judicial court. So it's possible that we might see a settlement on December the 22nd, the 23rd. Uh, either those two days. Uh, or within that time from between December 22nd to January the 22nd. So I just wanted to bring that up. I mean, you also have scales here on April 22, which could mean April to 2022. That could be a possibility. But based on, on what I've seen here, you know, June 23rd, six month will get you to December 23rd. You got this beginning of the end. That was released on December 23rd, 2020. Add a year delta or whatever. You got December 23rd, 2021. And then you also have uh, December 22nd for 2021. You also got the scale. So just something I wanted to share with you guys. I thought it was very interesting. Uh, at the end of the day, I have no idea when all of this is going to end. But all I know is I'm going to continue holding and holding and holding and I'm probably not gonna sell all my XRP ever so many different ways you could make money with XRP without having to sell it you know just passive income There's so many different uh, tools being created so many different products being created yeah this is definitely a, a long-term hold it's been a long-term hold for me already because I got into XRP in 2017 and it's already 2021, almost 2022. But uh, yeah, just want to share that with you guys. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Uh, do you think we might see a settlement on December the 23rd, 2021? Um, do you think Riddlers are, do have some in info, some background info? Or do you think this is uh, just going to continue on until maybe spring of next year? Let me know in the comment section, guys. Again, if you like the content, please like, share, and subscribe, and stay safe out there, guys. Peace. You know, actually, I agree with you. Uh, I think there are too many. Uh, there are around 3,000 different digital assets that trade on a daily basis now. I think, you know, anytime there's a new market, there's a lot of people that run into that market and try to show that they can solve a problem, they can deliver a customer need. I have said publicly before that I think 99% of all crypto probably goes to zero.